Okay, so yesterday was just a volume of work day. Today it's about cardio fire, uh, and it's about a workout where I really want people to push paces hard today. So our warm up uh, is going to get us prepped for that. What we need to do is we need to decide how we're going to attack this workout today. So how it will work, uh, we're going to set a four minute clock for our warm up, and we're going to start it out with 40 single unders. So we got our skipping rope here, right? If we're going to be doing double unders, start working on nice high jumps. Get those legs and those muscles, get that uh, muscle memory going for those tall jumps. The other thing too, while we're doing tall singles, uh, let's try to also think about doing this minimal leg bend or leg kick back. So when I say minimal leg kick back, right, being here, being more efficient, keeping those hands at our, tight to our sides. Okay, so if we're not going to be skipping, we are going to do jumping jacks, okay? 40 jumping jacks. After that, uh, we're going to work into 10 bodyweight RDLs, so soft knee, bending ahead, getting those glutes fired up. We, this is really important that we get these muscles fired up for today's workout because they're what's going to make us... Uh, Structurally sound for what's about to hit, okay? So 10 of these guys, after that, we'll work our way through four inch worms. So walking those out, push up, walking those back in. If we don't have our strict push up, walking those out, knees down, push up, knees back up, walking it back in, okay? So that's your warm up, you're doing those movements for four minutes. We've got to get that heart rate up. Think about going a little faster each round, okay? Except for those RDLs. The RDLs, we never want to go fast. It's about control and getting muscles firing. So speed up the pace with your jumping jacks or your single unders. And same with your inchworms. Really think about driving that tempo through that so we're ready to go and our heart rate's up as we head into this workout.